All right, so today I'm back with you with this 2010 Dodge Avenger 2.4 four cylinder. I've been having issues with this. I remember in the other last video, I told y'all that I had a head gasket problem. It was skipping badly, all kinds of stuff. And I just wanted to get back to you on that. We did go ahead and replace the head gasket on this. It does have a brand new one. Uh, it was done a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago. Um, also, I wanted to share with y'all today it no longer skips it was skipping badly it was shaking the engine all kinds of stuff going down the highway it would skip i checked spark plugs coil packs all that you know i thought i did it through a, a good check through everything however today i came back out i'm gonna go over the first thing um first let me let me go ahead and tell you this there's not a lot on this i just want to tell y'all if you are losing coolant you see how that's full at hot Okay, if you are losing coolant, okay, they make two caps for this at Advance Auto. Okay, um, there's an there's another one. It's kind of got like a gold tip in the middle on it. You probably saw it in my last video that I had. I bought this cap right here because the cap that I bought had that gold thing in the middle, and it was actually leaking right here up under the cap. As you can see, all of this stuff that came down and was hitting the fans. Replaced it with this cap right here. Sell it at Advanced Auto Parts. I think it's like four bucks. This will fix that problem. I'm telling you, it will. All right. Another thing. So check your grounds. Um, I know that Dodge. I don't know if you can see the battery down down in there, but there's cable down there, and it goes to the battery. They thought it was a good idea to put it behind the fender. But today, you know, I was like, all right, well, I put new terminals on it charge the battery up made sure i had good grounds on everything it was still misfiring oh, golly so we start you know messing with you know injectors check the fuel rail pull it off put a new oil sensor on there too then this morning i come out here and i'm like you know what i'm gonna try the old-fashioned let's check the spark plugs so i take this coil and this coil because i had a code for cylinder one misfire but it was not flashing and it would misfire and then it would just go away like it was running fine well today i came out here and i pulled out this one i pulled out all of them but i pulled out this one and this one which are located right here okay so these are the coil packs that are in there pulled out those two and i got these out of cylinder one cylinder two so when I did that, I was like, okay, I'm going to switch it, you know, and I switched them there and there, whatever, cool. Well, it followed it, but it still was not misfiring. It just said detected a misfire, but it was running like crap. I mean, like straight crap. So, okay, I know it's misfiring. So, started leaning towards vacuum leaks, stuff like that. Come to find out, if you take a good close look at this spark plug... Hold on one second, I'll get it to... Come on, camera. There, oh. Right there, you see that crack? Yes, sir. That right there is the issue. So make sure when you are checking these spark plugs that you check this right here. Not only that one, this one too. Look at that. Unbelievable. So, went ahead, you know, went to the store, bought some, bought some brand new. And, you know, it started working perfectly fine. So, I put brand new, brand new. These were replaced about two months ago. Because I figured that these were bad the last time. So, now it's got all the same in it. They're all brand new all wired in good and i got ngk racing the good tip you know expensive spark plugs in there so i was like okay please let this work you know after seeing this you know and seeing you know the misfires that it was having and stuff like that it didn't look like this i actually peeled that off but this one was cracked that high like if you look here it was actually cracked right here i just peeled that off 
And when I looked at this, this is actually aluminum or metal right here. It's metal, probably. And I'm assuming that the spark was probably coming out of the boot. Because this is just, you can just hear it in there if you listen. It's just like trash. And no good at all. Um, it don't even sit good on the spark plug in there. You can literally drop it in there and it'll just like sit on it. So it doesn't get a good wrap around the spark plug head. So after I did that, I was like, all right, well, let's give it a test. So come around over here. And this is old Bessie. This, this, this is the car I've had a lot of issues with, but you know what? I still trust her. <sighs> Got my baby boy right there. And I put the key in and I was like, please give me luck. I started up. And I'll be dang. Usually this thing would be jumping like crazy. You would feel like a like a shiver. You would feel like it, it would just everything in here would be moving like this. Cause the whole engine would shake. Like and I know it's in my last video. I leaned towards it was a head gasket, but fortunately it was not a head gasket. I'm just letting y'all know because there's not many videos out there about this car the spark plug coil packs when they crack they will not throw a code check the coil packs i've had this issue since i bought this car and come and it'd be all along it's been a coil pack you see how it's running perfectly fine now no check engine light of course you got the tire gauge i think that's everywhere um it would throw a Cadillac converter. It, it throws all kinds of different codes when it starts misfiring. But it will not throw a misfire code. So it's kind of hard, you know, to to figure out what's wrong with it when it don't tell you. I mean, it, nothing's coming up saying something's wrong with it. Another common thing that goes out is, just to let y'all know, this oil light is kind of like not lit up. Let's see, it's lit up now. That oil light right there. Don't freak out when you start seeing it come on and off when you're driving. It'll be like ding 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 all the time. There's a sensor that is I'll show you what that sensor is is actually to show you if there's any oil in the car. It's not an actual like oil pressure. I guess oil pressure sensor or whatever. All you gotta do is take fuel rail off, take these two bolts off, take the manifold off, and There'll be a green, mine is green. I can't see it right now. Um, Cause of course the intake's in the way. But you take the, just lean it back. You ain't gotta take it out. Just lean it back. There'll be a green, green plug back there. That is a oil sensor. Okay. Um, just, re, just, you gotta have like a, there's like a socket that goes on there. You can get it around there. And uh, it's gonna be a long, you know, deep well socket. Put it on there, screw it out. Take the new one, make sure there's some um, tape around the threads. That way it don't leak oil. A lot of times the they will actually leak oil um, through the plug, which mine was doing. I didn't do a video on that, but mine was actually leaking oil through the plug, and it was making the sensor go crazy, saying there was no oil in the car. But as you can see, I just did an oil, oil change. The oil is crystal clear. So, you know, this car... It can run good, but I know there's not many videos out there, so I just wanted to make a video real quick. You know, I wanted to make sure it was in 4K. That way you can see what I'm talking about. So we'll go over one more time. This right here, Advance Auto, $3. I just got two spark plug coil packs for, if you got speed perks, you can get them for, you know, 50 bucks. You get them on Amazon too. Um, make sure your grounds are good. Make sure you got good grounds. Check your battery terminals because they put those little piece of junk ones on there from the factory. Change those. The only thing else that's wrong with this car is I've got to replace the um, the AC compressor right there. The actual clutch fell off. Uh, I guess it was overcharged. I don't know. Um, but since it was skipping, I didn't run it anyways. But now it's not skipping. We'll probably look into getting one. Um, as far as that, um, coil packs, check them. Make sure you don't have, you know, any cracks or anything like that on your on your coil packs. Make sure that that doesn't exist. Make sure that you can't just pop this off. Like, you shouldn't be able to just, like, I'm doing this with one hand. Was it this one I took off? 
trying to remember. Let me set this up for y'all. So I like just took this off. Hey, look at that. The whole thing's cracked. Like, let me make sure y'all can see that. That's just a boot. So, so here's here's the. Look at that. It may look good down in the boot, like I showed you, because all you're seeing is that. You know, this little, I guess, firing piece, if you want to call it that or whatever. But because it was cracked, it was throwing it on the side of the block. And then this one, I don't even want to, we don't even got to talk about it. It was cracked almost the whole way up. So those are some cheap little, you know, piece of junks. Ain't no good. You know, they last about three, three years, two or three years. But as far as that, this car is a good running car. I just wanted to throw a couple things out there. Make sure you replace this. I'm telling you, if you've already replaced this, this hose, sometimes it, it goes out too. I've had to replace this hose a couple times. Um this will start leaking um this is brand new uh, i put a lot of money in this car all this back here that's this is all brand new um so to sum it up check your coil packs make sure that they're not cracked because that was the issue of mine for five straight months i just drove it around like that because i was so done with trying to figure out what was wrong with it there's no telling with these cars so again Check your coil packs. Run good NGK spark plugs in there. Don't put no Dura last crap in your cars. I'm telling you, don't put Dura last stuff in there. Um, make sure you, you know, buy genuine parts. Uh, the next thing, a throttle body. That's brand new. Um, you'll get the lightning symbol up there. And it's just a little, you know, gears in there go out. So easy fix. You just pull, you just same thing, pull that out. And you just buy that. I bought mine on Amazon. It was like, 50 60 bucks um i ain't had a problem with it since then uh thermal housing's brand new um it had a clog in it had to replace it uh fan the fans wouldn't cut on at all um that was actually a fuse so there's a couple things you you really can just figure out on your by yourself but i'm just going over it because there's not many things or, like i said there's not many videos on this car at all so if you have a skipping and it's just constantly skipping, you might have a crack like this one. Or is that this one? It, it you know, it, I couldn't see that crack when I first pulled it out. I just pulled it out and checked. I was like, oh, well, it looks good. You know, I don't know why I wouldn't be firing. But as I took a closer look, it might have not have been this bad of a crack. It might have just had like a small little crack. This might have been cracked. You know, I, I don't know. But check it. If you're in doubt, just replace it, bro. Just replace it. That's all I got to say. Because usually when it's misfiring like that, I'll lean towards as, you know, working on cars my whole life, I'll lean towards a spark plug or a coil pack. But this time I was like, I've already changed all that. So why would it be that again? Sure enough, it was. So, you know, before you go and change the head gasket and all that crap like I did, there was probably nothing even wrong with mine. But it's brand new. At least I know it's been done. So... This car's got 249,000 or 42,000, 242,000 miles on it, and I still trust it to drive anywhere I want it to. So, good car. Um, I'm about to get the back brakes done on it, and it should be good to ride now. Um, get the AC compressor fixed and clean her up. This is my work car. I just drive it to work and back. And I just wanted to let y'all know. Uh, I hope y'all find this video helpful y'all got anything to add just add it to the comments i know there was one video on there somebody said that their 2013 was skipping pull them spark plugs out pull them coil packs out check for cracks check your cylinder you know pressure check check if you got com compression do compression tests you know all that stuff is going to cause a misfire mine was throwing a code saying the cadillac converter was bad all because it was throwing gas down in there so you never know this is Christopher Hemphill. Uh, this is my whatever channel. I feel like videoing for the day. And I just wanted to come to you and show you what I did today and what I found out on this Dodge Avenger. The very best car Dodge ever made. And uh, just wanted to show you what I got figured out today. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You don't know how annoying it was for this thing to skip. Every time you stop, it skips. Every time you, you, you turn the AC on or something, it would skip. 
you know, just so annoying to the point where we just got where we just didn't want to drive it no more. And I've had it up the end of the road for for three or four times probably, but I just couldn't let it go. And here enough, it was something so simple. But anyways, just wanted to come at you and let you know what what, what happened, how I fixed it. Um, I'm sure pretty soon it's going to need an alternator. Uh, I know it's going to need a battery soon. But other than that, I have no issues with it. It runs great. Just wanted to let y'all know. Although, God bless y'all and have a great day.